the Vice Chief is ready to see you. Travelers from Silverant, you may enter. Thank you. Our leader, Chief Igaguri, is ill. I, the Vice Chief Taiga, shall speak on his behalf. Because Sheena failed to kill you, we, the people of Mizuho, now face persecution from the Tetheala royal family and the Church of Martell. Is that true? Yes, at least from what I've heard. Now I have a question. People of Silverant, what do you plan to do in Tetheala, the land of your enemies? I've been thinking about that for a long time. Someone asked me why I came all the way to Tetheala, what it is that I want to do. I want a world where everyone can have a normal life. I'm tired of people having to become sacrifices. I'm tired of discrimination. I'm tired of people becoming victims. I'm tired of it all. You are an idealist. The worlds of Tetheala and Silverant flourish only by victimizing the other. So long as that structure remains the same, anything you say is mere sophistry. Then we need to change that structure. This world was made by that Yggdrasil guy, right? If a human or elf built this, then we should be able to change it as well. <laughs> you speak like the hero, Mythos. He was a sublime idealist. He ended the ancient war by insisting there was a way for the two warring countries to coexist in peace. Are you saying you can become the next Mythos? I'm not Mythos. I want to save the two worlds my way with the help of my friends. I see. In other words, you aren't worried about following past methods. Well then, we shall search for a new path as well. Vice Chief, do you mean... Yes, we will use our information network to aid you. In return, when the path of prosperity for both worlds has been found, we wish to move our people to Silverant. But I don't have any right to decide something like that. All we need is for you to aid us in our move. Is everyone okay with us joining forces with the people of Mizuho? If it will change the relationship of the two worlds. Well, it doesn't sound like a bad deal. Let's hurry up and decide so we can go rescue Prisea. As long as Tetheala is safe, I don't care what you guys do. Okay then, it's settled. We're going to look for a way to change the two worlds. Let's work together. Agreed. Then I hereby order Sheena to continue to accompany you. This time, however, not just as an observer, but as a representative. Make us proud. Yes, sir. But Taiga, you sure you want to turn the royals and the church against you like that? How about if I ask you? Given a choice between the forces which wish to sacrifice one of the worlds and the force that wishes to preserve both worlds, which would you side with? I'd like to say the one that's likely to win, but I suppose I'd want to help the side that wants to preserve both worlds. Exactly. Now the first thing we shall do is devote all our resources to locating the Riards. Fortunately, it appears that Sheena attached a guardian to the Riards, so we should be able to locate them shortly. Understood. Thank you for your help. Is he for real? What's your name? Regal. Regal, huh? I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to keep you prisoner for a bit longer. Lloyd, how about letting Pops here fight too? Even though he might betray us? Well, he has business with Prisea, right? And he's not gonna try anything before he gets a chance to speak with her, you know? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rain? I don't know about this, but I won't make a fuss. I also started off as your enemy. Well, will you fight alongside us for now? All right. I swear upon my good name and these shackles that bind me, I shall not betray you. If you do anything, even the slightest bit suspicious, I'll burn you to a crisp. Got it? Well then, welcome to our group, Regal.